Hey, it's Brandon Kickstarter PPC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to utilize ChatGPT to not only create new listings, but utilize all of your keyword data to make sure that you're optimizing your listings, putting everything in there for SEO purposes, and generally having the best listing that you can have. And this also helps when you want to translate them into other marketplaces. So you've got all these functionality here and it's a free tool. So I'm going to jump straight in and show you how to use it properly. So I pulled up this random example here and this is where it gets quite interesting because you know, this, this listing is pretty poor to say the least. It's got good reviews, which is nice, but the, the title's not up to scratch. It's there's more keywords that could be in there. Uh, bullet points, very minimal. They're not taking advantage of the SEO side of things. Description's a bit bigger, but it's not, it's not something people are going to read very well. Like it's, it's got like live stress-free every day with uh, so-and-so decaf tea. No one's going to read that. That's, that's not interesting enough to the average consumer. So it might have some stuff in there about being non-GMO, but it's just not cutting it. And no A plus content. That's, that's also something where it's lacking. So this listing could use a lot of work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the right prompt into chat GPT. Move that out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. So you can do this for any product, right? Like it's AI is very useful if you know how to use it properly. So ChatGPT is going to be a bit it's going to take a minute to kind of read everything and then it's going to formulate a pretty good response. Now I've also gone and done some keyword research and I've just grabbed some different uh, rose tea kind of keywords, very generic, nothing, Nothing too fancy. It's just to see, show you what it does for all intents and purposes. So you do next. And you're going to get something like this. So you're going to get uh, kind of something a bit more long winded, but this is where you change things up. Um, make the bullet points shorter and to the point. See, now that looks a lot better than what's on here. So you've got some pretty detailed bullet points. It goes into about things that are in the description. So about being non-GMO. That really should be in the bullet points of the listing and decaf as well. That should be in the title. The title has nothing. Okay. Yeah, it has about being decaf, but it's not, um, there's not enough keywords really in this. It's not, it's not really going into details here. So here's, here's where it also gets good. So you can take, um, a listing. So take these bullet points. And you can translate them. So if you want to do different marketplaces, this is just an easy way to translate things. And obviously, uh, at the start there, that's that's not translated. But you need to you need to kind of go through. It might even be worth you get a German speaker or a native speaker to read the bullet points anyway. But at least you're not having to go to an official translator get it all done. I mean, this sounds as human as you can get for an AI. So it's, it's quite interesting and you can kind of use it as you need it. 
So you can also, let's, let's find another example here. You can go to, um, let's see. So just wallet, for example, it's a very saturated search term. Jeez, I'm very disappointed in uh, the bullet points uh, quality. I mean, these these are okay, but at the top, that's not not very good. So let's take let's take this for example. And what you can do is say, uh, you know, you want to have it within the character limit. And it'll do it. And it will rewrite it. It'll formulate its response and it will meet your criteria. So, ChatGPT is a brilliant tool if you know how to use it. It's one thing to go on there and start messing about with things because it's great for that. But if you want to actually use it to be benefit your business, you need to know the right prompts. You need to know what to ask it. And when you know how to ask it the right questions and ask it to do the right things, it can really help you with your business. So say, say you've started up a wallet and it's got very similar uh, features to this. You can easily go and take this listing Put it into chat gpt and say can i change this change this to um, reflect this and you can add the certain features in and then if it has this uh this kind of response you can say make it shorter make it longer make it more humorous anything right so let me show you an example and i don't know how this is going to turn out as a wallet company Okay, this didn't work. So, you know, that's, this is something that can work with some things when you're sending a letter, uh, email template kind of example, but for but for a listing, you can kind of say, uh, make this uh, make this more short and to the point. Okay, yeah, you have to do like this. Love when the servers go like this. <laughs> right, I said make it short and to the point. It's basically summarized all three paragraphs. So you need to say, summarize each bullet point. AI, you need to be very specific. And then when you want to ask more questions, say, um, this was supposed to be three. There we go. So this is how you can utilize this to benefit your business. And if you're not already using it for making listings, then I definitely recommend you do because a lot of you will remember the days before having AI to help you creating your listings, having to go through keyword research, do all of that and try and formulate your listings, try and get creative, write something that sounds good. Well, you can use this tool and it can make it in seconds and you can put all the keywords you want in and you can say, give me give me five options. And you can say, give me so many variations of this text. So it will send you, I, I often like to say, if I, if I look at a, an Amazon listing, 
I'll put in a few different ones and I'll say, okay, send me five different listings so that I can compare and contrast. And then I might pick some from some and some from others. And it makes just one good, very crystal clear listing, which is very descriptive, has the keywords I want inside it. And you know, that's what you can do with this tool. As the listing itself is so important to PPC, that's why I wanted to cover it in this video because having better listings means better conversion rate and that just helps everything in general. PPC doesn't work without a, a solid listing explaining why you should buy the product. It's USP, all the details about the product. This is what people want to see. People want to know why they should pay 1115 for this wallet. Like, what's it do? Why should I buy this over someone else? Amazon is a price comparison platform. So anything that you can have the advantage helps the PPC and it helps you sell more units. So that's where we're coming from today. And that's why I thought it'd be quite useful for you from a PPC perspective. Now, if you actually need help with Amazon PPC and you're struggling with things at the moment, we're a small boutique hands-on Amazon PPC agency that has a lot of experience helping large and small brands scale and grow their businesses. So if you need help and you're struggling with things at the moment, definitely c contact us. Our details are in the description. And definitely leave a comment. We're interested to hear what you have to say and subscribe if you want to see more content. So until the next video, have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye.